So here are some high ROI trading habits. I thought this was really good. And what, what, what of course we want to make sure is we do those on a daily basis. And we do those by having a plan, a plan in place to go through each one of these things, right? So for example, backtesting. You've got a backtest, right? In this outlier trading strategy we're doing, we're actually doing two backtests. One of them is trend spider. One of them is the outlier signals. And so let me give you a brief demonstration of what that looks like. So like KRE, just pick one at random. Since we're talking in financial sector, this has only three signals in the last year on, um, on outlier, two out of three of the winners, right? But I could even come up to here and do outlier theory short. And we're just saying, you know, with the MACD cross down and the 10 period cross down, what does that look like? It looks like it's still loading. Let's go to a different one real quick. Apparently that is not going to have the effectiveness that I was looking for. But the point is having back testing as part of your plan is going to show you if you have positive expectancy or not. Next is studying charts, right? Part of the back testing is saying, okay, well, if this has worked historically in the past, there's our back test showing. And I want to make sure that this is going to work. Well, not, not necessarily make sure, but have a positive, um, positive expectancy that's going to go forward. What has happened, right? So you got to study those charts and see what it is. Next is journaling trades, right? Keeping up with those trades. Sebastian asked yesterday what my returns were for the year. And I can tell him within just a minute or two, setting up my results, uh, marking them in a market right now. I'm up a smidge, not where I was a couple of weeks ago, but still I'm okay. Uh, next in the whole R high ROI trading habits is thinking of probabilities. And I mentioned that a lot yesterday on yesterday's stream. If you go back, it's like, Given enough instances, your edge should play out, right? Enough instances is the key here. One trade to the next, we don't know if it's going to be a winner. We don't know if it's going to be a loser. We don't necessarily know how big or how small that's going to be. But over one trade, it's very random. Over 10 trades, less random. Over 100 or 1,000 trades, it starts to really level off and you see exactly what those edges play out to be. Start increasing your goals gradually, right? For example, maybe maybe the first year, you just need to shoot to break even. Maybe the second year, just shoot to break even. On your third year is when you can say, okay, all right, I've broke even the last two years, which means that I've not caved to my emotions with fear or greed and made bad choices. Maybe this year I can post a, uh, a gain, right? And maybe you do, maybe you don't. But on the third and fourth and fifth year, consistently growing that account, figuring out what works and what doesn't work. Next is planning your trades in advance. And the way you do that is by having a strategy, top to bottom, in and out. What is it going to take to get me in and what is it going to take to get me out? Then lastly, checking your rules before a trade. That's why every day what we do has a written down set of rules and we don't act if it doesn't fit in those rules. So those are a few high ROI trading habits that I thought was really good and wanted to share with you today. Have a fantastic afternoon, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow. Talk soon.